Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. Now, you've been asking about the four-bedroom unit at Crystal Rivers, this master plan development that has urban city convenience and the residential side over here. We're going to tour this magnificent property. Welcome to the show. Yes, so here we are at the four bedroom unit. So you've got the window, pretty much the setting is similar to the three bedroom unit. Right over here, you could put your swinging chair, you could enjoy this space, park two cars, three cars, if you so wish. And then ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the four bedroom unit. Wonderful, and welcome to the four bedroom unit. So, you've got your mahogany door right over here, very classical touch, and the space in here, ladies and gentlemen, is just inspiring. You've got dazzling chandeliers at the top, which are cylindrical, lovely. You're on the bottom over here, you've got this cylindrical coffee table that's in black and white, very nice touch. Classical appeals throughout this whole space that's also modern. So right down here, you've got this television console. It's got a very nice, cool, sophisticated look in black with your television right over there. Wall sconce that's modern, consistent with the theme of the chandelier. Beautiful space that could sit about seven, eight people comfortably. And I mean comfortably, because this is the future of fine living. I love what they've done with the windows right over here. Curtain rods, which are in black, is a very nice touch. Right over here, you've got a dining table, big enough for six. You could host, you could play Monopoly, all of that within this space. And what I like about this touch is the little details that they've done to this, consistently matching everything, and it's really beautiful. Onto this section, you've got your kitchen granite, a space right over here that you get your serving dishes, take them to the dining table just seamlessly, and it's beautifully done. Come along, let's go to the other side and have a look at this kitchen. Oh, let me highlight, storage space, white particle boards, similar to the three bedroom unit, and Big provisions here. It's palatial inside this space. You've got space to put in your fridge. Of course, your cabinetry has glass. It's also transparent, so you get to see the other side. You sort of shape design. You've got your granite countertop on this section. Big enough cooker can fit six pots. Six things could be cooking over here, and it's easy, and you have no problem with that. So, transitioning into the launderette area. So you've got your tiled sections right over here for the wet areas. Coming down into, you've got your SQ over here into this section. Right over here, you've got an open field similar to the other one. Right on this side, we'll take you and escort you to the front of the property. Again, you've got fresh, clean water coming off from this section. So come along, let's go have a look at the rest of the house. Let's go. Now, We've got a very sturdy steel door for those of you who are worried about the security and you could lock it up and close it and retire to sleep. Now, speaking about sleeping, I want to take you to the sleeping sections and sleeping quarters of this house. But before we go there, you've got a pedestal sink right on this section. And inside here, you've got a cloakroom that anybody could get to use or your guests whenever they come over. On my right again, you've got more storage. You could have your bicycle, you could have your golf equipment, all of that, and it has light provision. So they thought everything through. Future of fine living. So let's go upstairs to the sleeping quarters. Great. Now, ascending into the sleeping quarters. First of all, let me highlight some of the chandeliers that are at the top. They're quite grand and very impressive. Also, the ornamental art that's on my left right over here with the brass leaves is just magnificent. Ascending into the landing area, you've got your plants right in this section and welcome to bedroom number one. So, very nice door over here, good wood. You've got your storage space inside here. Love the way this bed has been staged. Beautiful velvet bed, that's just amazing. LED light right at the top. Lots of light just flooding in into this room. Superb, absolutely brilliant. Into this section, you've got your water closet. You've got your shower cubicle area, and it's a gorgeous amount of space to just get that done. 
really nice touch over here. You could put in your shoes, you could put in your watches, your heels, whichever you prefer. Come along to bedroom number two. However, this has been staged as a very stately office quite imperial right over here you could do your meetings you could have your zoom calls you could work you could talk to people it is just fantastic love what they've done with the space especially with the chandeliers right at the top of course every room gets a sufficient amount of light so you've got your windows you've got your wardrobes that's bedroom number two come to bedroom number three back into the landing area but before we get to that into the common cloakroom right in this section love the brown that they've used shower head on this section mixer tap you've got your soap dish holder light just coming in from that window towel rack holder partitioning water closet and your pedestal sink mirror right over here and i love that they've tiled everywhere not just the wet area but everywhere within this space come along to the third bedroom This is just dazzling. You've got two beds over here, one that's in velvet. By the way, it's a four by six and it's got a very nice feel. You should come to the show house. They've got a tour. You could book in for a tour or you could call the number right below over here and come and get to see this very beautiful development. Very lovely wardrobes right over here with the mirror, exceptional space. Love how they've staged it with a chandelier at the top. That's very modern and quite sleek. Now, on to the primary suite. It is just palatial. This is kingly. This is very kingly. And you can tell this because they've got a king size bed over here, six by six, staged very well, looking beautiful. We've got the wall sconces over there that are quite modern, matching with the chandelier on this section. Obscene amount of light that is just coming in that just makes you feel very healthy and energetic. You've got your wardrobe right over here that you could put in your suits, shoes, travel bags, all of that within this section. It's a breathtaking space, ladies and gentlemen. Being over here, I'm already feeling inspired. Got more provision over here to just put in your makeup, your perfumes and all of that. And into this section, more cabinetry and wardrobe space, particle boards with white carcasses. That is just amazing. Drawers right at the bottom, open shelving right at the top. And now you come into the primary suit that's now in gray, blue, shower rain head right at the top, mixer, tap, it is just magnificent. Glass partitioning, water closet over here, towel rod and everything is in chrome. Very nice, very elegant. So that's the four bedroom unit. We're coming back into the landing area. You've got your wooden floor tiling on this section and we're going to go back downstairs and wrap up this tour. So come along, ladies and gentlemen. Spectacular. That's the four bedroom unit. Many of you have been asking. I'm hoping that answers your question, how the four bedroom unit looks like. It is crystal clear that Crystal Rivers is the very best development this side of Athi River. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back from the commercial break. Now, we're going to shift gears, transitioned to a hybrid webinar that we had, and I'm sure you've got questions on a number of things. Sectional property, when is it going to get completed, the flooding, how diaspora should purchase these units, all of that with the respective segment heads for this development. Stay tuned. The sectional titles is a new, um, let's say a new act that came into place. It replaced the Sectional Titles Act of 1989. So it came into place um, 2020, Sectional Titles Act 2020. But now unfortunately, to operationalize the same required regulations. These regulations came in late last year, 2021. So it's a fairly new process. Um, some changes, of course, from the old Act to the new Act. So with our stakeholders, that is our surveyor, we have been trying to fast track 
unfortunately yes delays have been there delays have been caused one at the county level because we because we did the application before the election our application was caught up by the election change of government and then our approvals were done right now we are at the survey of Kenya um, getting the sectional plans approved that also has delayed it has delayed because of endless meetings together with the lands office and also the incoming of the new lands CS however we are we are um, undertaking all endeavors to ensure that we have it as fast as possible so every day we are at the survey of office trying to get the plans approved then we go to the lands office register the sectional titles and then register the sectional plans and then come out with the sectional titles there's an anchor tenant who signed up and uh, it was an expectation that they would open up by maybe December, January, thereabouts. And let me not just spill the beans for okay. now. Okay, fair But enough. I can tell you it's yes. a good quality anchor yes. who's uh, well stocked and yes. they'll be there in the mall. And you can just walk and grab your groceries and do your shopping there. So the mall is ready and uh, we also are in the process of getting other line tenants who will come on board and uh, you know support uh, the entire mall. With regards to the houses, the houses are ready as we said. And we are ready to transact, uh, save for the processes, the legal processes of titles. But uh, from my experience, there are people who have actually come on board and people are already living there. People have purchased and the processes or the delays at the land's offices does not say that you cannot start on the process. So you better start on the process right now so that uh, as some of these uh, issues are unlocked, we can be able to continue and proceed and have yourself uh, get your own units. There is no rent to own, but um, in line with that and to try and um, mitigate that, um, there is now the arrangements that we've made with the different financiers where you get a lower rate than is in the market and that sort of uh, builds the gap for rent to own. So the amount that you're paying per month as premium is not as high. If people would like to get a closer look and they're not able to go in person, that on the website crystalrivers.co.ke there's virtual tours and there's all the different um, things that you can look at in there to give you a clear sense of what's on site. So I'd also encourage them to spend some time on the website. They can use that to also get a clearer idea of what is there, which is what we're doing with a lot of the diaspora clients. When you think about the future and find living, is the idea that all the conveniences, all the benefits, mm -hmm. the peace of mind of what is there, and also again a place that has been constructed to you know state of the art standards. Mm -hmm. We know the stories that have come out over many many years of people living their diaspora who are sending money home with the intention to build a home or to buy a property, only for that never to actually happen. You know the money doesn't get where it needs to go. Yes. With Crystal Rivers, I think when I say peace of mind you know that you have something that is solid, that is built, that is ready for occupation, yes. been built to the highest standards, with very good fittings and so forth. Mm -hmm. We have a location that's within close proximity to the airport. You could be at Crystal Rivers, imagine flying in from you know, the UK or something, yes. and you get into your vehicle and you drive out to Crystal Rivers from the airport in 15 minutes, you're home. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, as mentioned earlier, you know, with the expressway, you have this opportunity to commute within 20, 30 minutes to someone like Westlands. All documents are in place. We don't hide documents. Whatever you want, you want NEMA approvals, you want um, WARMA approvals, you want a copy of the title, you want the agreement. We are able to give you everything that you require. You select a unit, uh, talk to our agents. We have a proper legal process from agents to hand over to man advocates and every party is aware of what they're supposed to do. So we endeavor to give you a seamless process such that um, you are satisfied from beginning to end, up to the date that you occupy. Ridge Front Development introduces to you Sugarbush. This trophy property brings the essence of sophistication. Set along the elite Nairobi leafy suburb on Isaac Gathanju Road in Lavington, resides a sensational offering of warm contemporary architecture that makes an unparalleled statement 
of vision and design. Perched ever so elegantly reside seven state-of-the-art townhouses that are the perfect balance of modern and contemporary design in the latest project by Ridgefront Development. To breathtaking interiors, guided by their minimalist philosophy, the founders designed Sugarbush as a retreat where design and quality enthusiasts can be immersed in a less is more lifestyle. Open living as you transition from space to space. An open plan kitchen. And ample natural light inspire a sense of space while further exploring the concept of understated luxury. With design of note, quality fixtures and fittings, ambience, a warm, inviting fireplace, we invite you to this unmatchable experience. Welcome to Sugarbush. Super magnificent. This has been a delightful tour. This four bedroom is exceptional. It's grand, it's palatial. It is just magnanimous. Beautiful four bedroom, best we've seen so far. I know lots of you have been asking. So if you want the unit, purchase the unit. My name is Peter Ngigi. This has been Property Focus. Till next week, same place, same time. Goodbye.